Well, usually when um, I judge, I like to tell the people what I'm looking for because, to the, I mean, at that time, there was only one thing you had to do, was you were dancing, uh, your moves, you know, and everything like that. But today, I guess, like, people look for different things. Everybody's different. Kenny may look for footwork. Um, Kid Free may look for power moves. I kind of feel that whatever it takes to win, your cleanness, being clean is very important. I think if you got five head spins and they clean into a freeze, it's better than trying to do 20 head spins and you fall on your face. So it's like almost like gymnastics, you know, you have to, you know, wherever you stop and you pose and that's your final freeze, whatever, in, in b-boy. Um, I think dancing is another important thing. A lot of people don't dance to the, to the music. They don't listen to the rhythm. And today people are not too creative. Everybody's trying to copy somebody else and it's good to copy, but it's, I mean, if you copy, do it different. Or even do it better than the person that try to maybe take it to another level. And that's how I judge. I mean, that's the best way of judging. When it's not good for a person to say, I'm looking for footwork, and a lot of people don't have footwork, then what do you do then, you know what I'm saying? So everybody feels like, oh, this guy did 20 head spins, so he wins, you know? No, he's got to do a little bit of everything. I don't listen to the crowd. You don't no, because I don't, I don't feel the crowd does what, don't know how to judge themselves. And usually what I do is when I throw a competition, guys who have been in events, have been in the competition, I'll ask them to judge. And they'll come back and tell me at the end of the night, I will never judge a competition again. Why? Because they felt, it, they know what the judges go through because it's so hard when you gotta see everybody. And it's not only that, it's not only the, the person who's dancing. Today you may do your day. Tomorrow, next week you join another competition, you, you're just in a slump. So everybody who looked up to you as this supposed to be the one who's going to win the competition, you had, a, you had a slump day and somebody took the competition and you're upset because everybody's hyping you up. But reality, you're not looking at yourself to say, well, man, you know, I messed up. What did I do wrong? And a lot of people don't know how to battle. That's another thing. A lot of people don't know how to throw a move to another move. They just throw whatever they throw or they try to throw, they'll try to follow somebody else's, you know, like everybody has a plan on how they want to battle. And you shouldn't plan with the person's battling. You should just do what you gotta do. Don't worry about what the person does. You do what you do best. You're supposed to practice what you know. Right. And if you know something, uh -huh. when you come to practice, you should be practicing something that you don't know. Okay. If you got windmills, why are you practicing windmills? Okay. If you got windmills. Now you should be practicing windmills to head, windmills to 1990s, windmills to elbow spins, footwork into windmills, back into footwork, back into um, let's say 1990, back in those are like those are considered combinations. Now, if you're practicing that particular thing, combinations, it's different because you want to do different combinations to different moves. But if you're going to do individual moves, I think you should be practicing more on footwork. And if you got your footwork done, there's always so many that doesn't a footwork. So footwork right. is always going to be your major thing. But if you know it one way, then try to do something different. You don't have to practice that no more. Now, if you got windmills, and you got windmills with your hands in your back, you got Superman windmills, you got windmills with your hands on your top, I don't care, and you got those, then you should be practicing 1990s. If you don't got 1990s, practice 1990s. Now, when you go into competition, you already know, all right, I know footwork, I know freezes, I know turtles, I know hand glides. So those are the moves you're gonna go and do. You're not gonna go and try elbow spins if you never did elbow spins because you're gonna mess yourself up and you're gonna fall on your face and you're gonna look that round you're gonna wind up losing because you're not cleaning. You shouldn't put your head down because everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect in this world, so we all make mistakes. But I'm trying to say is, when you focus, you just go with it. Like, you, you didn't even expect to win, you're just having fun, because that's what it is. I'll give you an example. I go down, we're battling. Yeah. I go down, I do footwork, right? I do footwork, I go into a windmill, and I go into a freeze. Now. You already know, I went first, so you know how to set my, now you already got the vision of what I did. Now, since you had the upper hand because you're second, you should be able to go down, do your top rock, do your footwork, do a windmill, go into 1990 or go elbow, but you see, I went into a windmill into a freeze. I cut it down from there. Now, what you gotta do is maybe try to do what I did and do it better, do, add something that I didn't get to do. So you wanna win that round. And you gotta know not to throw all your good moves a lot of people just don't know. They just throw their best move. If you're going like long distance rounds and battling, you throw little stuff. You know, your footwork, boom, boom, you freeze, whatever. You don't have to kill yourself. Now, if it's a competition with three rounds, then you just gotta, you just gotta bring it to the person. You never hold back. You know what I'm saying? Just try to be clean. A lot of people out there got good power moves, but they just 
the dancing is just sloppy. Yeah. They're not listening to the music or nothing. And the judge who's judging should be watching that. Should be noticing that the person's not dancing on rhythm. Mm -hmm. And he's and his, his footwork and his freezes is just it's just like you know ugly. It's not, it doesn't even look proper. If you're doing it that way, you win it. Uh, sometimes I feel that a person who judges and they have a person in that they didn't like or something, they do use like, oh, they my friends. Me, I never do that. If 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 you if you're my friend and you join the competition and I said I pick the other person and you're gonna get mad, you shouldn't get mad because I'm, I'm telling you what you did wrong. So you should at least accept that because me as a friend is telling you that you you didn't win. You can't win everything. Nobody's gonna win everything. So. I mean, some people say, oh, you're good, man, you're good. Me, I tell you, you stink. You stink, you stink. I, I, I'm going to tell you honestly, that's who I am. I'm not trying to diss you, but I, I'm a type of person, I like to tell you the truth, because I know you could do better. I always know people could do better. It takes time and practice, but a lot of people want to do everything in one night. Rome wasn't built in one day, so everybody want to do windmills one day, headspin one day, it ain't going to work. Take your time. Learn the, learn what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You should learn to... And if somebody asks you, what, how you do head spin, you should be able to explain it. Mm -hmm. Not just say, oh, well, I don't know, I just do it. Just go on my head and I just whip. Yeah. yeah, but how you whip, why you whip this way, why your legs are this way. You should be able to explain everything. Because when you know how to explain something, that means you're learning the move yourself. So you know how to explain it, okay. the move comes better for you. The cleanest means like when you're dancing to the rhythm and your everything looks sharp. You look like a professional. You know, like when you see, you ever go to like a, a show and everybody's dancing in rhythm and dancing together? You don't see one person, you know, moving their hands and everybody's doing something else, you know? Everybody's like, if they're one. Like, if you look in the mirror, everything you do, the mirror's gonna do. If you put your hand up this way, the mirror's gonna, because that's a mirror. Because everything you do, the mirror's gonna do. So it should be the same way. When you're dancing, everybody should be able to say, wow, that, that looked nice. That was, that was awesome. Because people could tell when you, messing up or you're doing something it doesn't look good you know but when you start doing things that you're not used to doing you want to messing up a lot of people don't have character a lot of people just stay there and whatever i think if you if you clown it out like you try to make believe it was a part of your routine people don't know it's a mistake you know you got to know how to you got to know oh i did a mistake and go and think right away what to go into whatever you can go into that's what practice comes in when you practice those things, when you're messing up, you should be able to practice say, okay, if I ever did this, I messed up. What can I go into this so people won't know it's a, it's a mistake? Right. They'll think it's part of your, your battle routine that, and that, for that round. But a lot of people don't think that way. So, you know, everybody makes mistakes and, and they show their, their mistake from the reaction of their face. Like, damn, man. And, you know, like they, they show that reaction. People are saying, already know you messed up. But if you did a mistake and you messed, and you didn't, you just lay down like, oh. And this something people think is a joke, like you're like you're trying to be a comedian. That's a character comes in. Character is very important also. We always had a plan before we messed up. We always show we, we did it so you don't think we messed up. You never knew we messed up. It's like a DJ who's mixing and you don't hear the you don't hear the record that much going off beat, but the DJ hears it, he knows you gotta pull back because he's off beat. So the same thing goes with um with, with dancing. You gotta know your stuff. And, and that's like I said, when you practice, you should be practicing what you know. And the things you don't know. And when you go to the battle, you, that's what you do, is what you know. When you practice, you practice the new things. So you can always be a, a head step ahead. If you practice the same thing for, for, for the, one year, doing the same same thing, you're not gonna learn nothing else because now you're gonna take you another year to learn something else, and another year, you'll be breaking for 20 years, and guys who've been practicing for one year have been learning so much because they've been trying to do everything, new things. And whatever they know, they practice, okay, all right, I know this, I put this to the side, now I'm gonna practice this and practice this and practice that. And then they, they try to combine it to make it one, you know what I'm saying?